In our last video lecture, we discussed what are linear equations in two variables. The video link of the tutorial is given in the description below. Let's learn how to calculate solution of a linear equation in two variables. Now before discussing this, let's have a quick discussion or let's have a quick revision of calculating solution, the solution of a linear equation in one variable. Here we have a linear equation in one variable that is 2x plus 4 is equal to 8. Now if you have to find its solution, then this can be written as 2x is equal to 8 minus 4 and this gives you 2x is equal to 4. From here you get x is equal to 4 by 2 and you get x is equal to 2. It means that if you take this value of x equal to 2 and you put it here, you will get 2 multiplied by 2 plus 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, yes, this 8 is equal to this one. That is why we say that x equal to 2 is the solution of this linear equation in one variable. Now note that you cannot have any other value other than x equal to 2 for this equation that will satisfy this equation. That's why we say that the solution of a linear equation in one variable is always unique because you cannot find any other value that will satisfy this equation. What about this one? This is a linear equation in two variables because it is 2x plus 4y where x and y are two variables. Now let's find out its solution. Let's put x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. Right? So when you put x equal to 2 and y equal to 1, then what happens? You get 2 times 2 plus 4 times 1. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So yes, this 8 is equal to this one. That's why we say that 2, 1 is solution of this linear equation in two variables. Right? It means that this 2 is for x and this 1 is for y. And why this order is important? You cannot say that 1, 2 is a solution of this linear equation in two variables. Why? In that case, it means that at the place of x, you will put 1 and at the place of y, you will put 2. So let's check it. So 2 multiplied by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Is 10 equal to 8? No. That's why you cannot reverse the order. Order is important that this is for x and this is for y. Right? Okay. Is this the only solution of this linear equation in two variables? That is, is this solution the unique solution? Well, the answer is no. Why? Because I'm going to show you that you, can, you will have infinite, infinite number of solutions of a linear equation in two variables. So one is one solution is two comma one, right? Two one one. Let let me show you other uh, values. Now in that in this case, what we can do is let's put let us put x is equal x equal to mm, let's take three. Let's take x equal to three. So if you put x equal to 3, this becomes 2 times 3 plus 4y is equal to 8. From here you get 4y is equal to 8 minus 6, right? And from here you get 4y is equal to 2 and from here you get y is equal to 2 by 4 and from here you get y is equal to 1 by 2. It means that when you put x is equal to 3 here and y is equal to 1 by 2 here, you will get 8. And I'll show you how. So this is y is equal to 1 by 2. 2 multiplied by 3 because x is equal to 3 plus 4 multiplied by 1 by 2. So 1 by 2. And this will become, this is 2 by 4. So this will give you 2. So this is 6 plus 2. That is equal to 8. So this is equal to 8. That's why you clearly see that 3 comma 1 by 2 is one is another solution for this linear equation in two variables. So one we found was 2 comma 1 and the uh, another one is 3 comma 1 by 2. Let's find out a few more solutions. 
Now in this case, let's put, let us put y is equal to, mm, let's say 2, let's say y is equal to 2. So when you put y is equal to 2, so you this linear equation in two variables becomes 2x plus 4 multiplied by 2, right? So from, and this is equal to 8. So from here you get 2x is equal to 8 minus 8, that is 2x is equal to 0, that is x is equal to 0. It means that when you put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2, then this equation will have another solution that is 0 comma 2 and I'll show you, prove you here. 2 multiplied by 0 plus 4 multiplied by 2, so 2 times 0 is 0, 4 times 2 is 8, so you'll get 8 plus 0 is equal to 8, so this 8 is equal to 8. It means that we have another solution for this linear equation in two variables that is 0 comma 2. Okay, so now if you notice, in this case, we first put x equal to 3, but in this case, we first put y equal to 3, uh, 2, and then we calculated for x. In this way, let's take one more. Let's say we put x is equal to 10. So if you put x is equal to 10, you get 2 multiplied by 10 plus 4y is equal to 8. And from he here, you get 4y is equal to 8 minus 20. And from here you get 4y is equal to minus 12 and from here you get y is equal to minus 3. It means that x is equal to 10 and y is equal to minus 3 that is 10 comma minus 3 this is another solution and I'll prove you this is 2 multiplied by 10 plus 4 multiplied by minus 3 if you solve it you get 20 and 4 minus 3 is minus 12 and you get 8. So this 8 is equal to this 8. That is, you finally get the same answer, same result. So this is another solution. So likewise, you can calculate n number numbers of solution solutions for this linear for this particular linear equation in two variables. That's why we said that a linear equation in two variables has infinite numbers of solutions infinite numbers of solutions right so here it was 2 comma 1 then 3 comma 1 by 2 then 0 comma 2 then 10 comma minus 3 